goes to another familiar and you can see that. So he appeared uh, about 50 years before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared. Uh, so he was 50 years old when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared. And he stayed for 50 years when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was Leela. And after that he stayed again for 50 more years. So how old was he? 150. <coughs> 150 years old. That was very elderly, right? So, <coughs> for, those who, hello, for those who are not knowing, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you can see, this is a Panchatattva picture. So, they are worshipped with this mantra. You can see here this picture. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in the center. Yes? And who is on his left? On his left, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is on the left. Ah, Nityananda Prabhu is on the left. There is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu. Right. On the right side of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is he? Right side of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Nityananda. Right side of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is that? Nityananda. Advaita Acharya. Nityananda. Nityananda and Advaita. Huh? What's the picture there? Nityananda and Advaita. Advaita usually is on the right side of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Nityananda. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Nityananda Prabhu and then Advaita Acharya. Hello, hello, hello. And then who is on the other side? Gadadha Prabhu and? Huh? So what is the mantra for this avatar? Very good. So the mantra is Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda. So do you know this Panchatattva, there is a mantra for Panchatattva. I think this is a mantra, Jai Sri Krishna Chai. But there is another mantra explaining their rules. Can you think that up? Panchatattva. Can you chant that mantra for me? I can't see. Panchatattva Atma Kam Krishna Okay. First one is what? Bhakta? Bhakta Rupam. Who is that? So Bhakta Rupam refers to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yes? And then? Swarupakam. Swarupakam is? Who? Ah. Why is this Swarupakam? Because it is not different from immediate. Ah. And then Bhakta Avataram. Who is that? Who is Bhakta Avataram? Hello, hello. Eh? Who? is Advaita Acharya today. He is Bhakta Avatar. Because he is an expansion. Avatar coming down in the uh, Vishnu category. He is an expansion of Lord Vishnu. You know who is Lord Vishnu? <laughs> Do you know who is Vishnu? Who? You know or not? Who? Because he is an incarnation of 
Krishna. <laughs> what else is he? <laughs> but who is he? How does he look like? He, he has a finger for sure. <laughs> what? Padanchari. 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 No tail. <laughs> what? Come and take out the picture of Mahavishnu. Everything has to show by pictures now. Shlokas is enough. Finish. <laughs> so this is a picture of Mahavishnu. How Mahavishnu looks like? Have you got Mahavishnu there? What is God? Mahavishnu? Karnadasiki Vishnu? Hello? Who, who you have there? I can't see this thing. Who you have there? Karnadasiki, no. You bring out Karnadasiki Vishnu. Can you see? Hello? Can you see? Hello? So who is this Vishnu? Why is he called Karnodasiki Vishnu? What is the Karno Ocean? This is Karno. Causal Ocean is the cause of this material and what is the role of Mahavishnu? What does he do? What? He sleeps of course. He is sleeping. He is sleeping. Right? What is the role of Mahavishnu? Come on. ISKM devotees have got friends, they say. Huh? What is the role? Second. 
of Mahavishnu's time. Then 300 trillion years is equal to one second of you understand that? You understand? Be clear. And not only that, in all these bubbles that come out of this universe, he goes inside again. As? Show the picture. Is that? So you can see there's another Vishnu. Is that there or not there? No. Huh? <laughs> Hello, today is a preliminary class before you must turn up your hunger. <laughs> Hello, you understand? Understand? You no. see this Mahavishnu and then he goes into this bubble, it is another universe. What is that? He lies down there because it's very dark. And by sweating, uh, he's sweating, he fills out the universe with his sweat. That's why it is called what ocean? Ah, oh, you look not sure. You, when I ask you, not confidently answer. Sure, not sure. Why? So that ocean is called? Hello, in the picture house. Drawing. They're drawing the picture, don't they? Oh, is there not? So why do you see the picture there? What do you see? Garbhodaski Vishnu is lying down, right? On Ananta says, yes? yes. What is the, the snake called? It's got two names, you know. One is Sesana and the other one is Ananta says. Ananta says is here in the material world and Sesana is in the spiritual world. Right? Either way, I don't know, maybe I've got to be shut, but one of them is here and one of them is there. The names are, you know, not not the same. So you see, when he lies down, you can see from his navel, uh, what is coming up? Uh, what? Lotus flower. So from the navel all the way to the top of the lotus flower, who takes birth? Brahma. Huh? Brahma. Brahma. And from the lotus stem, uh, not outside the stem, Inside the lotus stem, there are the 14 planetary systems. You understand? The planets are not floating outside. They are all concentrated inside that. Uh, because it may seem like a stem, but it is very, very huge. You understand? You have the planet all inside. You know, you must be <laughs> uh, colossal. So then you see here this Vishnu. Brahma is taking birth, not finish. Uh, Brahma is then what? Manifesting from the body of Garbhodas to Vishnu, just like in Mahavishnu, so many bubbles come out. From the body of Mahavishnu, Garbhodas to Vishnu, all the different, different what? Living entities. Living entities. Jivatmas. They are then put into bodies created by God. Brahma. You understand? Is it clear? So, <clears throat> this universe, uh, I'm sure, in this living entities are put into the body of all these bodies and again, he expands again as one more Vishnu. What Vishnu is that? Why is he called Chirodasi Vishnu? Where is the milk ocean? Where? So where? Above Brahmanaka. You are not sure. Up or down? Eh? Above? Sure. <laughs> so this planet is called the pole star. You know, in uh, Durva Maharaj pole star, uh, in that pole star, there are the seven, sorry, seven rishis. Eh? In the center of that pole star, there is this Setvadit. Setvadit means ocean, the island surrounded by this milk ocean. Uh, 
And in that milk ocean, you have got Shirodas ki Vishnu. He also lies down on the surface. <clears throat> and he also expands himself into the heart of every living entity. And also he goes into the atoms of all the living entities that is manifest. You know? Huh? What is that? Anu, Paramanu. What is that word? So he is inside the, even the, so now why am I explaining these three Vishnus to you today? Because Advaita Acharya is an expansion of this Vishnu. Primarily the first Vishnu. Who is that? Yes. Understand? From him, this uh, is that personality. Not some small personality. He is actually in the category of Vishnu. Uh, what? Vishnu Tattva. You have got how many Tattvas? Jiva Tattva. Jiva Tattva? Vishnu Tattva. Vishnu Tattva. Vishnu Tattva, Jiva Tattva and Hello? <coughs> Prasadam Tattva. What is that? Shakti Tattva. How many Tattvas? Because we have Tattva. <laughs> so there are three Tattvas. First one is who? First one must be Vishnu Tattva. And then what? Shakti Tattva. And then you have? Ah. So today, our whole concentration on this Mahavishnu. So why you must now know the position of Advaita? It's not some ordinary personality. Vishnu Tattva, you cannot become a Vishnu. This is why Mayavad philosophy and our philosophy are different. The Mayavad, we call them the Mayavadis. Those whose intelligence is stolen by Maya. And they say that you and God are one. You and God are one. one. By my explanation today, is that possible? No. Can you, from your post, universe can come? <laughs> can. At least don't get you know, Today we don't have enough, I think, samudra. You bring up some samudra and happy <laughs> that. <laughs> Everyone can have two kids at least. Yeah? yeah? Is it possible? But 99% of the Hindus, they think like this. They all say, no, you can become God. Do you accept that? No. That's why Advaita Acharya appeared today, particularly to what? Preach this, what? Against this nonsense philosophy. That's why it's called Acharya. Today we chanted the prayer, no? Yes? So Acharya comes to preach what? Nothing. <laughs> why they come for? They come to teach. Ah, they come to teach the, the what? The philosophy to teach us conditions. So, what is this whole thing about? Yes? So therefore, he has other name is called Acharya. Yeah? Today we... Yeah? And because he is Vishnu Tattva, Vishnu Tattva means what? He is not different from God. Yeah? He is not. That's why his name is called Advaita. Advaita means what? Non-different. In other words, he is also God. He is what? The living entity cannot become God, but he? He is God. God. Understand? So that's why he is called Advaita Acharya. Acharya because he preaches. Vaishnava philosophy is preaching. And Advaita because he is not different from Lord. Do you understand this? Hello? Understand? Clear, huh? Very clear. 
and he is an incarnation of Mahavishnu. So this is his role. Why he is so important in our in our why we have to chant his name? Why? Anyone know? Because he is prime responsibility, he is the prime person responsible for inviting Chaitanya Mahaprabhu down. Haribu. Understand? Ah, he saw, he came 50 years earlier and he saw the Kali Yuga was going rapidly. And he started thinking in this Kali, in the so called uh, living entities need to be saved. Then only one person can do that. That the Lord has to come down. Huh? He has to. Understand? So he started worshipping. Huh? He got Shalagram. Uh, Shalagram, you know what is Shalagram? Can you show the picture? Do you have Shalagram? Yeah, what? Huh? Black stone coming from where? Gandaki River. River where? Nepal. Nepal. So there this Lord, the Lord manifests himself and these stones are uh, called silas, shalagram silas, which are non-different from the Lord. Uh, usually in all the Brahmins they worship shalagram silas. So Advaita Acharya was worshipping the silas and he was offering, uh, what? What do you offer? <coughs> He was offering water and and loudly calling for the Lord to come. There's a word there. Can you read? Tulasi Dora Matrena Dalasya Tuluke Namha Vitrinite Samatmanam Bhakti Javakta Vachala. No, there's another word to know. With his loud cry, he called Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to descend. Just after this verse or something. Now before this verse, you tell us. Huh? Is it before or after? So <coughs> he's so important, his loud calls are uh, calling for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to come down. <coughs> because in Kali Yuga, <coughs> if you want to get saved, only one person can save us. Who is that? Got it? <coughs> so you see? Krishna Karye, Krishna Puja Kare, Tulasi, Nandajavati. With the consideration of Vita Acharya Guru promising to call the Lord Krishna to descend, begin to ask him to Supreme Krishna to call the Krishna to the Supreme Krishna to the Supreme Krishna. By loud cries, he invited Krishna to appear, and this repeated invitation attracted Lord Krishna. He said, Hey, why you cry and I cry with the Lord Son? Hello? Hello? Huh? What will come? Uh, police Son, will cry. <laughs> yes? Why you have to get him to call? Because he is not different from the Lord. You understand? So he, out of compassion for conditioned soul like us in Kali Yuga, he has descended at Vaita Acharya to call Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to come down to save us, conditioned soul. Yes, what is that word? You chant this word? I don't think you chant. You chant for what? Prasadam Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Kutayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Nanana and Gaurat So he has come down for this purpose of delivering the conditions so or in Kali Yuga. So in Kali Yuga we want to be saved. Then only Chaitanya Mahavu can save and through the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu and that's why we chanted this now. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Advaita Chandra Jaya Gaurabha Tarunda Yes, particularly the three names are mentioned. 
You understand? So today is his appearance day. So do not think that he is nobody. He is a very, very important personality. You follow? So therefore, we have to celebrate his appearance day. God. We have to chant this mantra that Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Pratamitya Handa Sri Advaita Gadadhara Shiva Sri Gora Bhakta Before we chant Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Then we become complete Then our prayer will become successful And he is very very merciful Advaita Vidhari Chaitanya Mahaprabhu made one point that Advaita Acharya is very powerful. Uh, when he was speaking to Vallabha Bhatt, he says, there are many, many, very big, big devotees here. And he showed about Nityananda Prabhu, how he is so powerful. And then he said, but Advaita Acharya, what he said? He said, Advaita Acharya is so powerful that he can convert meditators into becoming devotees. You know that word, bro? Okay. <clears throat> See, so powerful, because to make meditators to become devotees, it is not possible for conditioned soul like us to do that. Maybe you can do, I don't know, you, you are preaching in your office, and you are converting all your colleagues, I think, yeah? Yes? Yes? Yeah? Yeah? All began the body, right? No. What? You, you converted them all, right? Did you? Or they converted you? <laughs> you got the words, hello? Balama huh? Pats. So you see, to make me eaters to become the body, it has to be in the category of Vishnu, Tattva Prasad, that means God Himself can make me leaders into. It's not something is so cheap and easy.